Hello there! I want to make a video about retexturing old games. So far we could simply take an old game like Doom and upscale its textures to improve its quality. But with the rise of AI generators, which have become very accessible to us, I was wondering if we could simply replace those textures with newly generated ones. For this I used the free Doom project, which is Doom, but I have freely access to those assets so I can modify those textures with their upscale versions or newly generated versions. And so first I would make sure that FreeDoom is running on my computer. You can see here the original FreeDoom, which seems to be running. Then I would open it in a level editor so I can look at the used textures and their names, which I want to upscale. So I can then extract them from the FreeDoom project and upscale them like you can see here, to four times their size, so that they should have more details in them. Uh, now you can see a running example. On the left side is the original Freedom, and on the right side is the one where I you know, improved some few textures. Uh, on the distance, you don't see that much change, but if you look close, to those textures, you know, walk close, you can see that some of them, the ones that I actually upscaled, appear to have more details in them. They look like a higher resolution. Um, you can see here the difference again if we're standing really close between the upscaled and the original version. Now, I want to try the same thing again, but with AI generated. For example, stable diffusion, you can use the image to image method and you can see that here um, this is the stable diffusion you know a demo website where I simply uploaded one of the textures and then generated new ones and we can stay as close to the original as we want like you can see here those examples are very close to the original textures but they appear to have way more details in them like those rusty ceiling plates uh, the good thing about this you know generated ones is that the offers claim no rights on the output we generate and we are free free to use them so then i would go into the level editor again and you know make sure that the textures are in place um, are with the right scale um, the same thing I already did with the upscaled version, but I didn't just want to show it twice. Um, but here we are just simply making sure that everything is working as expected. Then we simply start the game up again with our generated textures. You can see the metal plates here on the floor. They look pretty good, uh, like a good amount of detail and you know, it blends in pretty well. Also, the metal walls, they look different than the original, but we could, of course, try to stay as close to the original as possible. Uh, also, the rusty ceiling. Um, it took me less than an hour to do it. I didn't edit any of those textures. I just put them in as they were generated, and it looks pretty good. Um, we don't need to stay close to the original, though. We can also, you know, replace um the floor the walls with different things and then it gives you know a different feeling for that level uh, here again i just put the textures in as they were generated and you know there are still enemies that we need to take care of but first let me take a selfie um so yeah you can do anything you'd like i just want to showcase real quick that it's pretty simple to replace textures also with just simply generated ones and yeah Thank you for watching.